Hi, if you're like me, you may have thought to yourself that collagen supplementation is a silly thing because you consume adequate protein, which contains the same building blocks as collagen. Well, if you'll hear me out, I'm going to tell you why I changed my mind and why you may want to as well. Learn Your Body, a science-based education. Just a few years ago, I thought similarly that since I consume 200 or more grams of protein a day, and since most of it is complete protein, that it seems illogical to consume another, less complete protein source known as collagen. While it is true that collagen is a far less complete protein form, it still has an advantage that other proteins, or their building blocks known as amino acids, do not. The assumption is logical, but based in the idea that all proteins are broken down into single amino acid molecules during digestion before entering the intestinal cells of the body. That would then mean that all protein sources end up in their broken up single amino acid forms, which would make more sense to then consume complete proteins containing all the amino acids or other cheaper proteins that contain higher levels of the amino acids necessary to build up our collagen in our body, like proline, glycine, and lysine. However, there is an error in that thought process which stems at the beginning, digestion. While digestion does break up proteins into smaller units, the units are not necessarily single amino acids, but can be small peptides or smaller proteins containing two or three amino acids still connected. These small peptides can be absorbed by the intestinal cells using peptide transporters. So this bridges the one criticism that all proteins are uniformly digested to single amino acids, making collagen supplements indistinguishable from other proteins. However, there is another point to be made. It's believed that collagen peptides that are absorbed can find their way to collagen producing cells like fibroblasts. On the surface of the fibroblast, the collagen peptides can interact with receptors on the cells, causing them to decrease their production of collagen destructive enzymes, as well as stimulate the production of collagen fibers. So would this happen if single amino acids were present or some other peptides from indistinct complete protein sources? I'd venture to say no because the binding to the cell's receptors is dependent on the amino acid composition and the structure of the collagen peptide. Clearly, this is a thought process in defense of collagen supplementation that is merely based in the mechanisms, not hard data beyond the general knowledge that collagen supplements seem to work. That doesn't answer if it would still help people who consume high protein. So the data could easily still contradict all of my points. But until that data emerges and based on the mechanisms we understand, I would venture to say better safe than sorry in this case. With that, I'd encourage you to check out some of my other content, other work on collagen, and I hope to have the pleasure of speaking with you in the future. Cheers.